What are human rights? The respect for human rights is a central feature of a constitutional democracy. Human rights protect us against the actions of those who exercise power over us and help us to create a world in which we can all reach our full potential as human beings. We are entitled to have our human rights protected and promoted simply because we are human beings and deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. This means whatever our nationality, place of residence, sex, national or ethnic origin, color, religion, language or any other status, we are all entitled to fundamental human rights. Because of South Africa's apartheid history, the protection of human rights is specifically important in this country. Before 1994, the most basic rights of the majority of South Africans were not respected by the state. We decided as a nation to protect the human rights of all when we became a democracy, to ensure that no one is subjected to the infringement of our rights and the denial of their human dignity ever again. The protection of human rights in South Africa draws inspiration from the global human rights movement which started after the Second World War and culminated in the adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights by the United Nations General Assembly in 1948. Human rights follow three core principles which describe how these rights work and apply. Firstly, our rights are inalienable. That means that our rights will always apply to us simply because we are human. They cannot be taken away from us by anyone. Our rights will not change even if our life circumstances change. The second core principle is interdependence. That means that our rights come as a full package. This is because the protection of some rights depends on the protection of other rights. Our human rights support one another and strengthen one another. The third core principle is equality and non-discrimination. That means that every person enjoys the same set of rights. This is a core principle in our South African context. Rights apply equally to everyone. In a democracy like South Africa, human rights are guaranteed by the country's constitution. The constitution is the supreme law of the country. One of the most important parts of our constitution as far as ordinary people are concerned, is Chapter 2, the Bill of Rights. Our South African Bill of Rights outlines different groups of human rights. First of all, it gives a number of basic rights. They include the right to equality before the law, the right to life, and the right to human dignity. The Bill of Rights then goes on to talk about civil rights, which are the rights that a person has as a member of a community, state, or nation, so they are linked to citizenship. Examples of civil rights include the freedom of religion, belief and opinion and the freedom of expression. Then we further have political rights, which include each citizen's right to make political choices such as forming or campaigning for a political party and the right to vote in free and fair elections. What is special about our Bill of Rights in South Africa is that it also focuses on socio-economic rights. Examples are the right to housing, the right to education, the right to health care, food and water, and the right to social security. Not all countries commit themselves to these rights. These rights place a special duty and responsibility on our government. They are very important because a large part of the struggle for freedom was about improving the lives of the majority of the people. So these are the different groups of human rights in our Bill of Rights. The Bill requires the state to respect, protect, promote and fulfil these guaranteed rights. But we citizens not only have rights, but obligations too. The same values that protect us have to guide how we treat one another in society. So remember, we too have the responsibility to respect these rights at all times. Even if we do not like another person, it is our duty to respect his or her rights. You can see this easily if you think about a specific right, like the right to basic education. 
it means that you are free to go to school, but it also means that you should not prevent anyone else from going to school. The Bill of Rights also applies to relations between all individuals and relations between individuals, the government and private institutions. Now, why are human rights so important? Human rights are a central feature of any constitutional democracy. In South Africa, our human rights are outlined in the Bill of Rights, which is found in Chapter 2 of our Constitution and forms the cornerstone of our democracy. It is supposed to ensure that we all enjoy the protection of the democratic values of human dignity, freedom and equality before the law.